grateful that you stay there. Now, let's start from here, the health sector particular, because uh, the Ghana Health Service, in collaboration with the Public Services Commission, has authorized uh, the appointment of uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Thomas uh, Winsum Anaba as a medical director of the Ridge Hospital with effect from 1st February 2016. Now, this means that his term of office, oh, 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 right, the term of office, uh, he is starting, or he actually started, and we uh, will take a look at exactly what he has as far as ensuring that uh, uh, the issues of the Ridge Hospital, particularly congestion and other uh, issues that uh, patients who go there face will receive some attention. Uh, Dr. Anaba has just uh, joined me on the phone lines. Uh, let me quickly speak to him. Dr. Anaba, grateful for your time tonight. Good evening. Hello, Dr. Anaba. Good evening. Mm. Thanks so much for uh, joining us. This is News at 10 and you're live on TV3. So let's start from here. So uh, you have officially taken uh, appointment or uh, office from yesterday. Is that the case? Thank you very much for calling me and thank your cherished listeners. Mm. Yes, I would like to say that, yes, I've been given appointment letter to go to the regional uh, directorate and they subsequently also posted me to reach hospital, to head the hospital. I am currently meeting with the management there for a transition to take place mm. between the acting director and myself. So taking over is, being ta is taking place. It's not an event, it's a process. So there's a date established for me to take over completely. So for now, I would not like to talk much. Uh, I would just like to confirm that the appointment has been done and I'm in the hospital and things are moving smoothly. Uh, we want uh, the tension that was there to resolve, but that's why we are keeping it at the low tool. Yeah. Great. You wouldn't uh, like to talk much, but let me pick this one before you go. How do you see your appointment, Ridge Hospital, the challenges, the congestion, uh, so much to talk about. How do you see your appointment? And as far as moving that facility to the next level? Thank you. Uh, I think right now uh, the congestion will continue for a while just because RIT is the main referral center for all the hospitals in the region, mm. especially the Ghana Health Service facilities. Uh, the only thing we can do is to really collaborate with the referring hospitals to try to handle some cases or, or send specialists to those hospitals to attend to cases that need specialist care in those hospitals and that is the only way right now we can improve the congestion in the hospital. Thanks to God, uh, the moment the new facility is completed, we have ample space and we can arrange adequately to take those who are coming into the hospital and also arrange to get specialists attend to other patients in other facilities in order not to bring them into the hospital. That is the best way to reduce congestion in the hospital for now. Mm. And, and so you are, for instance, suggesting that the uh, new facility being put up uh, is the solution to uh, the uh, congestion at the facility. It's not the only solution, as I said. The other solution is to allow practicing physicians to go to the hospitals that are referring to us to attend to patients they like uh, consultants. That is what is done in developed countries. So we can practice that here equally, so that those who really come to reach really need to be there to receive specialized treatment. Yeah, that is what I mean. Mm, so uh, the, the, you, the suggestion is that some uh, polyclinics, some health centers should take up or should have personnel who can manage certain conditions there. That's what you're saying? Yes. And if they don't have the personnel, our personnel can go there to provide the service there, mm. if there's support from the health service, yeah. All right. And uh, Dr. Anaba, uh, welcome. Uh, we're grateful that you spoke to us tonight. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Mm. And I'm sure we'll have more time to speak to you. He is the new uh, medical director in charge of the Ridge Hospital there, talking to me uh, about uh, his appointment and uh, the fact that he has taken office. Uh, a letter uh, cited by TV3 and signed by the uh, 
Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Ebenezer Apia Dentra, says that uh, Dr. Uh, Thomas Anaba is the new person in charge of the Rich Hospital after the Ghana ha Health Service uh, has consulted with the Public Services Commission and has authorized his appointment as medical director uh, with effect from February uh, 1, uh, which means that uh, his term of office will come to an end on 31st January 2020. And upon expiration of that term, the health service says his mandate as medical director shall be deemed to have been terminated unless renewed or otherwise directed in writing by the director uh, general. So uh, the DG of the Ghana Health Service confirming the appointment of Dr. Thomas Anaba as the new medical director, Rich Hospital. But let's stay on that issue a bit further uh, and speak to the national chairman of the Coalition of NGOs in Health, uh, Dr. Gabriel Benaku. He's just joined this conversation. Uh, Dr. Benaku, grateful for your time tonight. Hello, Dr. Thank Benaku. You. Mm. Uh, Thank you. Right. And so uh, the Rich Hospital uh, went through some turmoil, if I should put it that way. But uh, we can uh, be happy and excited as far as seeking the health of uh, uh, the public is, is concerned because they have a new medical director. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I think that the, the appointment of Dr. Anaba is, uh, we want to wish him well in his new position. Mm. Uh, we think that the, the processes of getting a person to head the health facility has been followed. And we we encourage him to work harder than before mm. because there are already issues uh, within the race hospital that has to be dealt with. One of them is effective collaboration. I have visited them several times, so I know how the facility is always stressed up. The, especially the issue of human resource, the issue of motivation for uh, the workers, and the issue of it's already expanded, but still you need more expansion. So how you could be able to use this lobbying and and and, and negotiation skills to get more infrastructure and facilities for 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 the facilities. And so we, we wish him well. We hope that he will be able to calm down and work more with all the stakeholders within the facility and get everybody on board because the ordinary people will suffer if uh, he's not able to do that. And one of the things we want to encourage him to do is to listen very well. As a leader, you have the opportunity to listen and listen well, so you can be able to uh, negotiate with people and get people to work with you. And if that is done, we think that we should be able to transform the place. It's already the place is transforming, but it comes with a lot of issues. So with the listening power, we should be able to make good use of the people's sentiment the people's concern, and more especially having to deal with stressful situations because a lot of people go there for, for services. And I, I, I have been there, so I understand quite well about the situation there. Mm. So that is what I can say mm. uh, on, on, on that note. On, on, that, on that note, you, you, you raise the issue of, uh, let me say, the issue of issues are the Ridge Hospital. Uh, are you suggesting that, for instance, um, it was not all that well at the facility? Is that what you're, you're suggesting? You know, the Ghana has already had their system on how if one is acting, you could be confirmed or another person could take Great. over. Great. And, and, and I, I, I quite understand the, the, the letter has been given for him 
to, 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 to take over. And so he will have to work to ensure that whether people oppose to him or he get the support for other people, he will have to work to get everybody on board. And that is very critical. That's why I said he has to listen very well. Because there were already people there. And I always ask people who have seen a heap of potatoes in water, the size. You never see the size of a heap of potatoes in water until you are patient to wait for the heap of potatoes to come out from the water. That is how you begin to appreciate how the size is. So if you want to look at only the horns of the heap of potatoes, and you can make judgment, you, you will totally be wrong. You have to be patient to allow the people to come to the shore mm. before you can see the actual size of the people And And that is a very good uh, uh, information I'm giving to him so that he can learn from that and be able to manage uh, the transformational agenda of the rich hospital. He's listening to you. You're suggesting again that even before he takes office, he has some challenges to, some hurdles to clear. That's what you're saying. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And are these hurdles surmountable? Yeah, they, they, I mean, they can be managed. They can be managed if it is handled well. And uh, he could make a headway uh, to support the transformational agenda of the rich hospital. Mm. And so... What I'm giving him is an advice on how he could be able to work with all manner of people. Those who have been there for a long time, there are equally people who are qualified to lead or to manage that facility. Okay. But he has been given the opportunity. And so he has to be able to work very hard at listen be patient and get everybody on board so that the ordinary Ghanaians can get their services. Because one, we, 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 we need a calm situation to be able to provide quality health services to their people around. And people go there a lot. And so he needs that peace to be able to now come out with strategies, a strategic plan on how either he can manage the inflow of people or he can decongest it in a peaceful manner. But he can do that through peaceful environment and collaboration within the, the other facility uh, around, uh, around the, the real hospital. So he need a peaceful environment to be able to work to get everybody on board and discharge the duty very well. Mm -hmm. Dr. Benakwa, I'm grateful for your time tonight. Thank you. He is the National Chairman of the Coalition of NGOs in Health, uh, Dr. Gabriel Benakwa, talking to me about a rich hospital that has a new uh, chief medical director, rich hospital, the new medical director, Dr. Thomas Anaba. That's a development story because we will get you more uh, after uh, that because uh, some issues would have to be discussed.